Um, so what I want to share with you um, were the two two pieces to meet, two pieces meet, which is the closed loop and us, and then I will tell you the story how we go about it. So I've been working in the closed loop field for some time, and um, we started with a small studies um, initially in in, in, in patients uh, when they came for one or two days. Then we started doing uh, a longer studies. Um, and then we started thinking about a really long studies, about three months. Uh, but while, while we were doing the, the shorter studies, we were, um, we developed our own product or our own visualization of the data. So the data were downloaded on the Dropbox and we could see the data on the Dropbox. Um, and you could see the closed loop, closed loop um, profile here. Um, and it was something which really was helpful at the beginning for us because we could see the data in real time and then see what's, what's happening and evaluating the data also for, uh, for publication purposes. Then we started talking to clinical sites um, and we had a site in the UK, we had a site in Germany and in Austria and they were looking at this and uh, we saw the um, not refusal, but the anticipation of having something better for data visualization. And we started thinking, what was the next? And especially uh, for the next study which we were trying to do. So one of the studies which we were planning to do was study in a small children. Small children over the closed loop, again, is, is very challenging, but we wanted to do these studies also um, at home and doing it at schools and in kindergarten. And it came out that we would like the parents occasionally to see the data as well. Uh, so the obvious solution which we which we um, which we had at the time was why don't we try not to reinvent the wheel. There are already players, there's, there's players like Adelson at the time, when Adelson wasn't necessarily with Gluco. Why don't we want to join with them? Because they've done it. They are visualizing the data, there is an app, we can see the, the data on, on, in real time if you upload the data. It is accepted by healthcare professionals, and my understanding in Sweden, 99 clinics already use it in Sweden, in the UK it's probably lower percentage. And I just would, would mention is I would not underestimate the amount of time which is needed to train people on a new system, uh, on data visualization system. So we said we, we reached to the ascent, and we reached to the ascent for one specific Horizon 2020 study. Uh, so we, we wanted to do a, a closed loop system, a evaluation closed loop system in the children one to six year old. Uh, we wanted to test them for four months. And we want to really, with, with, this, um, with this application, change the landscape of closed loop usage um, in, in Europe and maybe worldwide as well. So we reached, we tried to us and it said, hey guys, you have these things, would you be willing to work with us on this project? And they said yes. Uh, so we started talking about two years ago, maybe two and a half years ago, and, and the idea was to take our closed loop which collects data from CGM, collects data from, from the pump, so we can push them to, um, to the cloud, to third party, to us, and so the healthcare professionals can see the data, and also the, um, the, the parents can see the data. So this is the closed loop system which we developed, um, uh, so we, at which we currently being using in, in the studies, so we have a G6, which is sending data directly to an Android app, app sitting on an Android phone. Uh, it's communicating with the insulin pump, which is a Dana RS pump, and then there is a connection to the Gluco um, of Dalsen Cloud. It's very simple, so you need to create your Dalsen account, which is done separately through Dalsen interface. You put the Dalsen account credentials into our app, and then the app is sending behind the scene the data every five, two minutes um, to, the, to the cloud. Um, so, this upload is happening, as I said, very frequently. 
And if you want to see the data, we want to show you a real-time um, real um, um, uh, real view of the data, but the, the, the Wi-Fi is relatively slow here, so I will go through some slides which we have here. So you need to log in into the account details, and then you can see the data um, which are being uploaded. So the, you see data from one hour patients on the closed loop, which um, was taken yesterday yesterday evening, about 2200. 20, uh, what you see here is the, so it was yesterday, 17, so you can see the insulin infusions given by the closed loop. Um, you can see the CGM values. And you can see also the boluses and the meals, and you have a slide. You have also the information on on the on, on, on the right hand side. So you have a very nice visual representation of the data with the standard interface, um, um, and it's it's something which uh, the healthcare professionals are used to. You can scroll down so again. This is a day from yesterday. If you scroll down, you can see the previous day. Um, this is actually a very challenging subject, so you can. This subject tends not to bolus for the meals. I think on this occasion, he, he just occasionally bolus is quite late. You can see it here. This is the gap for uh, sen um, inserting a new sensor, new G6 sensor. Uh, so the system will be running just an open loop, which is the pre-programmed basal, but otherwise it's running the closed loop solution. Um, you can switch to another page, which tells you the overall um, uh, clinics or assessment of the glucose control. So he's not doing very well. Having said that, I mentioned is that he doesn't really bolus that much. So it's not too bad. We are really pleased. He used to be in, in 40%. He's, he moved to 60. Again, I'm showing some of the challenging values. And you can also um, see the um, AGP plot showing the median and the um, interquartile range and the 95% range as well. So you can see the closed loop is doing pretty well, getting the values in the morning, and then the breakfast without bolus or dinner without bolus um, is, is more challenging. What I really find quite interesting uh, from these plots, um, where you can have, have, have a view of, of how these people live, or how, how the insulin changes, is to look at this, in this case, it's a one month worth of data of insulin needs. So what you see is this, um, this orange line shows you the total daily dose on daily basis, uh, on daily basis from the previous months. And it shows you that on this day, which is sometime 4th of, of, 4th of September, the total daily dose was about 12. Another day it was 40. So you can see the huge variation, and it's mainly driven through the closed loop operation. So you can see the Closed loop is, is and the basal is basically the, the, the part of the um, insulin delivery which is given through the closed loop operation. Um, normally, again, if it was open loop, you would see a, a, this, this solid blue line, the dark would be really straight because people don't really change too much the basal. So you can see the effect of the, of the closed loop. Um, you can also look at the settings. So there are settings for the for the patients in terms of basal settings. You can also the insulin to carb ratio. Um, and when we work with um, with us, and we also um, the app allows to do personalized uh, personalized glucose target. The default value is 5.8. And you can see this patient is using the standard 5.8. But you could see also review if they change it. We will be running a pregnancy study as well. Uh, so we will be doing it. Um, uh, people might have different targets. But the, uh, what the parents really find really beneficial is to be able to see the data on, the, on, the, on, the, on their phones as well. So what I showed you is it's the, it's the desktop interface for, for the ASEN. So you can review the data. It can be reviewed by the patients, by all healthcare professionals. People come to clinics every three months, and they can review the data, look at the insulin to carb ratio, look at the bolusing strategy, look at the alarms which are which are generated, look at the um, uh, adherence to the bolus calculator value. So all the things which is in there, and it is there, it is it is obtained from from the app. But what the parents can do as well, so they can see, they can 
walk through the phone to the to the cloud and see the data um, at any time, um, which are uploaded to, to the cloud. So again, this this is the same data which you see. So you can see the um, the time in range and overall the AGP, and then also what's happening. It was again the yesterday evening taking at the same time on the app. And you can you can slip it into the um, uh, portrait mode, so the landscape mode, and see more details. Uh, so this is my last slide, last slide. But I just want to mention is that um, having a closed loop system and having a way to visualize, analyze the data, tremendously improves the ability of the healthcare professionals to use the data, review the data, and also for the for the parents to be able to see what's happening during the day with the children. So um, I'd like to thank um, Bias and team and, and Google team to working for us. It has been really helpful. Uh, we are looking at a way how to commercialize this system together with Bias and so, so what so far what you've seen is, is, is a research use. We currently have about 50 people on the closed loop system where we are uploading the data to Bias and um, across currently three, two countries, but we'll have about three or four countries coming as well, Germany, Luxembourg, UK, and Austria. Um, and I will stop here. Thank you for listening.